Hello guys and gals, welcome to one of how-to smartphones tutorial videos on the Samsung Galaxy S8. If you'd like to check out other tutorials on the Galaxy S8, go ahead and check out that playlist in the description below. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to set a fingerprint password, how to turn it on, and also how to remove it to get it off your device. So I'm just going to go ahead and start off by showing you guys that I do not have any type of security on my phone. I'm just going to go ahead and swipe, and as you guys can see, it takes us right to the home screen. So from the home screen, what we're going to want to do is to set up our fingerprint and password is slide up from the home screen. It brings us to the apps page, which should look similar to this. And from the apps page, you should see the settings. Uh, mine is here. If you don't see, you can swipe left and right to make sure uh, to find it. So let's go ahead and select that. And once you're here, we're going to want to scroll down until we see lock screen and security, which is under the personal section. So we can go ahead and select that. And up here, we can see there are multiple different types of uh lock types of security there is the screen lock type the face recognition fingerprint scanner and the iris scanner what we're going to be looking for today is the fingerprint scanner so go ahead and select that and to set up our fingerprint security the first thing we're going to need to do is set a secure screen lock and add a uh, add at least one fingerprint so with the set of uh, security secure screen lock it's going to be a pin a pattern or a password just in case for whatever reason the device doesn't read our fingerprint it's just a backup um, password that we can use. So I'm just going to go ahead and select continue. And from here, there it is, the pattern, the pin, or the password. I'm just going to go ahead and select the, the pin with four digits. And I'm just going to go with four ones. One, two, three, four. And select done. And at this point, it's saying that uh, get ready to add your fingerprint. Be, be sure not to smudge it. Um, lay your finger uh, flat on the sensor. Um, and at this point, I'd like to add, if you're going to be using a case of any kind with your device I recommend adding the fingerprint with that case on just that way your fingerprint is read or is programmed properly with that case on just in case you are um, getting different uh, different touches on with the case so we can go ahead and place our finger on the fingerprint sensor lift lift it off then repeat uh, move your finger left or right slightly between attempts that way it gets the, um, the exact way uh, of your fingerprint the full complete fingerprint and just back here I'm going to show you guys that that fingerprint scanner is that right there that is where you want to lay your finger on when you are doing the attempts when you are placing your finger there so I'm just going to go ahead and do that here um, set my finger there and between attempts it says place your finger and move it and you'll get these red errors if for whatever reason it's not reading your finger or if you move it too much it will give you an error So it's saying uh, move it slightly left or right. I must be getting it on the same exact spot. And then it's saying make sure that it your finger covers the entire sensor. So go ahead and try my best to do that. It's kind of hard to get it here at this angle. It's not most comfortable for me. And just like that. Uh, so I was finally able to get it. Usually it takes a lot quicker. Uh, that took a little longer. So if you wanted to add another fingerprint, go ahead and select done. Um, so if you were to add um, possibly a child, another spouse, girlfriend, anything like that, um, you can add that there. And then if you are done, just go ahead and select done. And then here uh, we can add just gives us uh, if you want to hide content just with the alerts how they pop up. I'm just going to keep everything deselected the way it is. And I'm going to go ahead and select done. And at this point, it takes us back to the fingerprint scanner page. I'm just going to go ahead and select home. I will power the phone down just to show you guys that at this point, we do have the um, the pin code or the fingerprint. The fingerprint can be used, but here, if you, for whatever reason, forgot it and not, are not able to access it, you can type it in. But I'm just going to go ahead and place my finger on the back of that sensor. Um, press it there, and you could see that my screen lit up, and it did go straight to my uh, home page so that did unlock it and if you are looking to remove your fingerprint or any kind of password we will go back into settings scroll down again till you see lock screen and security and select that and as you guys can see our uh, secure lock type is a pin with the fingerprints uh, so we're just going to go ahead and select fingerprint scanner it's going to ask us for our password uh, the 1111 that's what I set I'm going to go ahead type that in and hit select and from here we can see fingerprint one we can go right up here to edit and for fingerprint one, I'm going to go ahead and select it. I can rename it to name it, let's say, 
um, mine, I, you know, I, you, I could name it my name if whoever, if it's a child or anything like that, you can add their uh, name to that fingerprint. And if you want to remove it, which is what we will be doing now, it's going to go ahead and select remove. And it says your screen log type will be changed to pin. Um, are you sure you want to remove it? Yes, remove it. And at this point, all we have is the pin for our password. And if you want to remove that as well, select the pin and hit one, two, three, four, put our password in. Uh, hit done there and it's going to ask us for which uh, screen log type do we want um, and I like to go with the swipe um, none is also has no security on it but if you click the home button it pretty much or the power button it will open it up to your home page I don't like that I like to swipe just to give myself that extra sense of security if it was in my pocket it's not going to uh, phone pocket dial anybody or anything like that so with that swipe set there uh, we have removed the fingerprint password I'm just going to go ahead and show that here by swiping up and there you guys have it. That is how you add and remove a fingerprint um, password on a Samsung Galaxy S8. If you guys found this video helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you know somebody who may be struggling with this, might need a little bit of help, go ahead and share this video with them. If you guys have any kind of feedback, positive or negative, I welcome hearing it. Um, that's all I got for you guys in this video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.